because now we understand what are the life cycle hooks of class based component now it's time to move from class based component to functional component why because functional component is the new trend class based component is not in much use so let's convert it into class based component and how we can convert actually we don't have to convert we already have that so we just uncomment it and we can see we have the title in the state so to create a state in a class based component we are going to use use state which is a new react hooks so for now i can go here and i can check for hooks and introduction to the hooks we have various hooks which are defined somewhere hooks at a glance let's track so state hooks what is that there is actually a list of all the hooks mm, hooks api yeah here is the use state use effect use context use reducer use callback lots of use it's just a convention to have a state use statement or use word actually uh, before the hook name so use state use effect like this so how you can define a use state use state you can define like this use state what is the initial value you need to define inside this uh, function called use state and then this is actually returning an array and in this array we have a two element one is the real value current value of the state and second is the function to update the state remember in the class based component we have this dot set state this is only one function we got in class based component to update any state value and then we can just define the value we are going to update inside the set state but now because we have a use state and this has a state of setting state for everyone this means if we have two state we can define like this generally you can also do like title something like here and then you can say is showing like false you can do this but because the because this use state hook has the ability to have more than one in a single component then it's generally recommended to have use state or state for every state you want to create so we have a two state like one is hello second is is showing so first we need to give the name so first is title second is is showing initial value of is showing is false and initial value of title is hello react but what we can call it because now we have a same name for the set or setting of these two states so generally it's a good convention to call the exact name with a set value like set and the title here set is showing in this way you can use these two functions to set corresponding states only okay so we have converted this state part into the functional component so there will be no constructor in functional component now let's try to move all these jsx into functional component we have created so we have this functional component and i'm going to paste it because now there is no this because we are on functional component and this the keyword this is only applicable when you are on class based component so i can remove this whenever we have also we can remove the state dot that means we have a direct state name like title is a different state is showing is a different state then we have to use handle click or we have to create the handle click once again we can copy that handle click from here to 
here like this and here because we can create any kind of functions so i'm going to create a simple function and inside this we need to define the keyword function but in class based component it was not required now here we are setting is showing to the opposite of the current value of is showing so how we can do in use state it's very easy we have this function to update the value of is showing so i can say set state of set is showing in the parenthesis we provide the new value and what is the new value new value is the opposite of previous is showing and we can totally remove this one and this is exactly we want so now we have moved everything so i can comment all these uh, class based component and then we should expect the same result as before so now okay so use state is actually from the react so i can say react dot use state this is going to work or also you don't have any prop so i can remove the prop from here let's see on the index we are passing yeah still we are passing we can remove it totally okay so now it says nothing everything is good what if i click on toggle yeah it is working and one more thing is if you don't want to prefix the react dot everywhere you can directly import use state from the react like this and you can use it that's good we have done that but next we can see we had previously in the class based component we had various life cycle hooks and we are logging something let's work on that and how we can use the use effect hook which is available here this one use effect and to create all the effects with the use of use effect only this means using this single function we are going to achieve mounted unmounted and update